I first started having doubts about religion, maybe when I was five or six, when I started seeing people fall out in church. And I thought, these crazy adults, what's going on with them? And uh, But I think the, the thing that sort of really put me on the path toward critical thinking and questioning it, as far as theology was concerned were Sunday school lessons and the fact that I grew up in private, in private religious schools and I heard about Daniel in the lion's den and Jonah and the whale and Adam and Eve and I said to myself that these things don't seem to make any sense and I never let that go. Um, I didn't fall away from religion uh, as a whole until maybe early, early, early college, early university, my undergrad. I always had a great experience, had a great relationship with God. Nothing bad happened, no um, touchy priests, no horrible incidents, no, none of that. It was just, I just started thinking and can't lie and say that evolution class and physics classes didn't play a part in that, but really I think I just outgrew religion as a whole. I started the Secular Students at Howard University because I saw when I got there uh, that there was no no support for any type of secular student at all. I, I checked the group listing for, hey, let me go and see what type of groups they have here. I'm used to University of Maryland where they have a bunch of stuff. But everything I saw was Christian, 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 Islam. Christian, Christian, Christian. And I thought to myself, what, where is this, the secular support here? I wasn't used to going to programs, school-sponsored programs and praying, which is what we did at, at, at Howard. And I, I love it as a school. It's a great family atmosphere. But I knew, I just had to know that, uh, I knew that there had to be people there who felt a little bit alienated because they can't talk about their beliefs to the other students without fear of being alienated. And I think the final straw for me was when I was walking across campus with my atheist t-shirt on just because whatever, you know, sometimes I wear that. And uh, somebody came up to me and said, oh, I thought I was the only one. And um, they really looked like they're about to be in tears. I said, this is, I've got to do this. And our first meeting was just this breath of, it, it was everybody exhaling for the first time on Howard's campus thinking that there were no other students that they could talk to about what they believe without getting blackballed, which is which may or may not happen at Howard. Um, it's, a, it's a real threat. What broke my heart about it was finding out that we were one of the first, if not the first, and definitely only at the time, a secular group at an HBCU, and that broke my heart. So I knew that I needed to be, become a part of outreach, become a part of uh, CFI on campus, um, help out, help start other groups at other HBCUs that are woefully lacking in people coming from an aspect of critical thinking. In terms of coming out as an atheist, I really have been remarkably lucky in my experiences. My family has been supportive. Most of my friends have been supportive. Uh, but I've heard horror stories from people, people who have no more contact with their mothers and, and, and brothers and sisters and people who have lost serious marriages and relationships and, and things, life, life that has just completely crumbled in front of them. And I, I look at myself and I say, I'm so lucky to have the people around me that I, that I was just randomly assigned to when I was born. Um, that, that, that is really a part of me that I am grateful for, and that, that's why I refer to my friends and my family as my gods and my goddesses. They are the ones that keep me, that help me, that get me through, through um, situations. And I have so much envy, or I have so much respect for those who still chose to come out and be themselves and be atheists, although they didn't have that support system behind them. That is uh, a, a, a major motiva motivating factor for me to create a community for these people because there's there's a community and there is now a community and that's wonderful. There is a community out there for people who don't have anyone else, of, of black people who, um, who are willing to step out there and say, hey, we'll be your family. And I've been a part of this growing family for so long now uh, that I, I want everybody else to be able to experience this. I can understand why black people would be terrified 
to come out as atheists, considering the fact that uh, our, our social construct for hundreds of years was based out of the church. And that's what a lot of other cultures, a lot of other races in this country and in other countries can't understand is that our, our society is based, our babysitting service, our tutoring service, our family counseling, our marriage counselor is, was based out of the pulpit for so long that to step away from that is really to sever yourself from your heritage is to sever yourself from everything that is still a, a root in this community. And to make a decision um, to believe that you are losing everything that you've known and everything that you're tied to simply by saying, I don't believe in a, a, a belief system. I, I don't have... I, saying I don't believe in a religious system anymore is absolutely terrifying. And I completely sympathize with people who got, went through that. I, I went through that myself at some point, but it was, um, it was softened by the fact that I had really good people around me, really supportive people around me. But if you are scared or you are terrified or you're unsure about whether or not you should make this decision, I, I'm here to tell you that it was the best thing I could have done for my life as far as spiritually, if you, wanna, if you want to involve that language. But I, I'm, such, I'm able to look at the world from such a, a real point of view right now. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what's actually out there, I don't know, but just the fact that I can say I don't know and be vocal about it and be happy with who I am and, and the things that I say to other people and feel free to do these things is, um, like I said, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. And I completely advocate people coming out, if you will, to their friends and family, letting them know this is who I am, this is what this is, what is um, part of me. And you'll, because of the community that we do have established now, there are plenty of places for you to go to say, hey, I, I, need, I need a friend. And they're out there. So don't don't feel alone. Don't feel um, don't feel like an outcast. Um, you're not. <laughs>